Hi, my name is Michelle Alva, your Mindset Energy Coach, Sex, Love and Intimacy Guide, and today I'm gonna to talk to you about the power that comes when you take responsibility for your actions, that you are a powerful creator in your life. Lots of times I hear people say, I'm having a hard time going to sleep at night, I'm so stressed out, my back hurts, um, I have this, I have that, and sometimes people talk about their problems to everyone and we complain and we just keep gossiping about ourselves. And I'm really grateful because I've had so many different amazing teachers, I've had a lot of different trainings, and we speak very often about ourselves as if we have no control or we're not responsible for our bodies or for our lives. And I'm here to let you know that you are a powerful creator, that you have within you all the technology to have an amazing, epic life. And it begins with your mindset. It begins with you deciding and believing to decide to believe in yourself, to believe in yourself, regardless of the stories of your past, whether your parents loved you or not, whether you were adopted, whether your parents never paid attention to you, we can reparent ourselves and we can also simply decide, we can choose to have an epic life. I personally, my parents were divorced. My father left when I was around 13, 14 years old and my mother had to work three jobs and basically I never saw her. I started working when I was really young to help pay for my school. And I even worked all throughout high school, pretty full time. So I just worked and worked and worked. And that was my life. And I became a very big victim of my life. I did not know about Joe Dispenza when I was 14 years old, but I did know about Shakti Gawain and Louise Hay. And I did learn so much from yoga at age 17 and went on this path of self-discovery as a physical therapist, my background, you know, my degree, I, I saw the limitations of my career and how just focusing on the physical wasn't enough. And I went on this journey to discover what root healing really means. Healing at the root. And many of us are only looking at the symptoms. Traditional health care system only looks at you as a physical body. It doesn't address your childhood traumas, the woundedness that we all carry inside of us. And it does not teach us how to process our emotional pain. I worked a lot with people with chronic pain as a physical therapist, but I wasn't really able to help them at the core level because I wasn't addressing their energetic body or their emotional body. People today come to me with an eight out of 10 chronic pain that they've had for years and with simple techniques that are energy psychology based, mindset change based, they can actually lower their pain level to a two. Without me touching them, without me doing anything to their body directly, people can release chronic pain from an eight out of 10 to a two. I've witnessed this a few times already, um, that rapidly and what shows up when this happens, first and foremost, is people have a willingness. They've been going to the chiropractor, they've been going to the physical therapist, they've been going to acupuncture, they've been going to their psychotherapist for years, or their coach, and they don't seem to be making the leaps and bounds, or they, they, they feel that they're not really benefiting the most, or, or creating the type of change, the type of shifts that they really want to have, or that they, there's this inner calling that tells them, you can do more. And so what I would want you all to know if the only thing you get from this video is that you are your solution. You are the medicine. You are so much more a part of your healing journey than we have been taught to believe, you know, as a general consensus. And I'm not saying you have to leave traditional medicine at all. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is how on board are you? How much are you an active participant of your healing journey? I've also done a lot of research on cancer remission, people that have had miracles happen to them, extreme like overnight cancer healing, and there's nine different characteristics that people have that have these amazing, amazing radical remissions, they call it. And you can look this up, it's out there on the internet. Um, people have written books about this, and one of them is for people to be an active participant in their healing. Another one is for people to learn how to process emotions. 
Have you processed all the anger, resentment, bitterness in your childhood? Or are you still holding on to anger, resentment, bitterness, sadness, guilt, shame? If you answered yes, do you know how to process your emotions? Do you know how to free yourself of the hooks, taking things personally for years and years and years, or trying to change your parents? The relationships that we have with our parents, if you want to heal some dis-ease, make that your priority. Take time off, whether you're going through a breakup, a divorce, a, a disease, you know, you have a diagnosis of something, stop everything as much as you can and get on the healing journey. Message me, contact me. I'd love to be more available for you in your life. And let's do some deep, deep diving into healing because many of us are walking around with so much baggage that we don't even realize it because it's not, we're not conscious to it. This is why I became a hypnotist and a neuro-linguistic programming practitioner and a psyche practitioner. We go into the unconscious, the subconscious. This is what rules our lives. And I'm so grateful because I have gotten to notice myself, my own limited beliefs that I've had that I continue to work through in different areas of my life. And I've seen so much success manifesting my dream home here in Key Biscayne, right on the beach and just feeling so youthful, so energetic, waking up in the morning. I don't drink any coffee. I don't feel that I rely on anything outside of myself to make myself feel awesome. This is where I love teaching people Tantra and I'm so grateful I learned whole body orgasm, how to have energetic orgasms and just live an orgasmic life and really harnessing my sexual energy for my creativity and commanding this energy rather than feeling that I am a, a person that is needing people to fill me up or needing, you know, feeling good about myself from other people. I own my sovereignty, I command my energy, and I know the steps for deep healing. And I've done so much work on this, and definitely there's things that I am cultivating right now in my life. By no means have I finished on the healing journey or the healing path, but I feel right now I'm on the empowerment journey. And rather than looking at myself as I have to heal something, I look at myself today as I get to discover more how powerful of a creator, goddess, priestess I am. And looking at myself as that, instead of something that is damaged or something that is not worthy of love, which is what I used to, I definitely play that victim role. I know what it's like to feel hopeless and helpless, disempowered, unlovable, worthless, um, be self-loathing. I've done all that. And I have learned that you don't have to really understand why you're like that. You can work with mindset change and you can literally create from imagination, visualization, activation. And this is why I created the Alba Method. And I am super excited to announce the Powerful Creator Program. It's a three month coaching program with me. You get to deep dive into your healing. You get to make you a priority and you get to have an epic dream life. You get to feel more youthful, become whole body orgasmic, learn how to process and flow, become an active participant of your journey and feel yourself in the deepest, most loving way so that you can have these amazing relationships with everyone. And this is what I wish for the world. So reach out to me and let me know how I can continue to serve you. Schedule a breakthrough call with me. The link is down below and let me know how this video benefit you. If you're ready to step it up and really own your power, I would love to work with you because those are the types of people that I can serve in the highest way. When you're ready, willing, able, and you're committed to yourself, woo! Magic happens and I know this because I used to be so afraid of commitment. I was so afraid and I love commitment. I love commitment. And I love that I love commitment because I see the power. When you decide something and you're crystal clear that you want this, you're so powerful, you will immediately start to attract differently. I love you all. Feel my love. If I got through so much, you can too, because I'm no different than you. Lots of love to you all. Mwah.